Penelope Finds a Friend by Laura Thornton. That's me. Penelope has almost everything a guinea pig could want, but there is a surprise in store for Penelope. Penelope the guinea pig lived in a comfy log house. She had a big hay pile and fresh water to drink. She had treats and toys and sunshine. I know I should feel happy, but I feel lonely. I wish I could find a friend. Penelope nibbled on a big hay pile. If I had a friend, we could nibble and giggle until lunch, then nibble and giggle some more. Penelope nibbled on fruit and vegetables for lunch. If I had a friend, we could share my big feast. Penelope sat in her tunnel. If I had a friend, we could run and play all day. Penelope sat in her boat. If I had a friend, we could float in the shallows and sing pirate songs. Penelope sat in her jeep. If I had a friend, we could take make-believe jeep rides. We could drive over sand and grass and rocks and logs. Penelope went camping. It would be fun to have a friend. We could count the stars and tell stories, but not ghost stories, please. One day Penelope woke up from her nap. She could not believe her eyes. Another guinea pig was smiling back at her. Hello, my name is Buffy. Would you like to be my friend? Penelope did a happy popcorn dance. Yes, I would very much like to be your friend. Penelope and Buffy nibbled on the hay pile and giggled until lunch. Then they nibbled and giggled some more. Dinner tasted extra yummy now that they were friends. I like your tent, said Buffy. Do you think we will both fit? There is always room for my friend, answered Penelope. That night they camped in Penelope's tent and counted the stars. They told stories, but not ghost stories. The next day they went for boat rides in the shallows and sang pirate songs together. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. They took a make-believe jeep ride and drove over sand and grass and rocks and logs. Suddenly, the jeep had a make-believe flat tire. Penelope fixed it while Buffy checked the brakes. Then they were back on the trails. When it was bedtime, Penelope and Buffy got comfy and talked about their fun day. I'm glad you are my friend, said Buffy. Me too, answered Penelope. Then they both drifted off to sleep, dreaming of tomorrow's adventures.